This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so Sexy Red's getting some backlash online, and and Ellie Choppa jumped on the bandwagon, had her on a song where he's walking her like a dog. Um, and you know, it's just like, dude, this is another JJ Ice JJ Fish moment here, where you know. She can't rap, but she says such crazy stuff that people, you know, repost it for about two weeks and then you forget about the person. Well, Meek Mill's already put his cape on. And he said, that TikTok money about to have her skin blow glowing. F all that. If she has the right deal in place. Plus, how much money is she really making off TikTok, Meek? Do you know? You don't know. Um, uh, Jim Jones really you know like jim jones is easy to sway you know you, you take him out on something like you know drake showed dipset love at the apollo theater now now jim jones is by far the biggest drake fan you've ever seen in your life he said all his songs hit like Pac. uh drake's the best rapper alive to him you know i think you gotta like Drake is definitely one of the top rappers. No question about it. Is he better than Jay-Z in Top Pocket? That's a personal opinion. I think Drake is, for the moment right now, he's hot. Let's wait till he's not hot to say he's the best rapper of all time. Okay? Drake doesn't cool off, though. You know, he knows how to stay hot. He's staying hot. He just got it. You know, like, people like him. It's not going away. He has a formula down that's working with each generation. So, but Jim Jones got to stop. You look, 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 look. He wants that Drake verse so bad. Please, I love you, bro. Do a verse with me. <laughs> it's getting it's. It's like, dude, we know he's great. This isn't new news. We know he's a great. <laughs> he's great at what he does. I hate these best best of conversations anyways. You know, you can just put a bunch of people on the top that you know that are like at the best of this craft. And you don't need you can equate people number one on many different levels. Money, uh, this, that, you know, like lyrics, you know, like everybody song making, you know, like you, you gotta put them in a category for them to be number one. Little Dicky says he has a lot of surprises on season three. What I'm surprised about is that it's still on the air. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. What's it called? What's it called? What's the name of his? He has some show. I forget what it's called. But there's a lot of surprises in season three, guys. What's it called? Dave? Yeah. XXX Tentoshun's mom says, you know, to the because those guys have got sentenced to life pretty much. Um, she said, don't drop the soap. I agree. I mean, come on, man. Those guys were the devils doing the devil's work, taking them out for no reason but money. Drake drops his song, uh, Search and Rescue. It's, you know. <laughs> he wants to be saved. You want to take me out the club. Take me out the me. Then he puts the Kim Kardashian thing in the middle. I, I didn't see it last because I wasn't going to listen to the whole song because I wasn't really into it. But uh, he puts Kim Kardashian talking about a divorce in the middle. Maybe it's like, oh, I don't want to get with the wrong girl that just wants to get divorced. I don't know. You know, I, I wouldn't take it as a Kanye dig. I think Kanye would actually like the song because it's talking about like meeting the right girl and how hard it is to meet the right girl in the music industry. It's an okay song. It's like a filler it's, uh, to me, but it is what it is. Anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.